In seventh grade, I had gone to, um, and gone to the weightlifting teacher and asked him if I could be weightlifting in junior high school. And at that point, it was in the 80s, and the girls were doing aerobics to like technotronic pump up the gym, and the boys were on the other side doing dips and pull ups, and I wanted to do that too. So I went over to him and I was like, could I do weight training? He's like, no, aerobics is for the girls, the boys do weight training. So I talked him into letting me do weight training and joined that group, and I looked up at like the record board in the junior high school. And there were like the seventh grade, eighth grade, and ninth grade records. And I looked at all the ninth grade boys' records. And I told them, like, I'm going to break every one of those. <laughs> I'd already asked my parents for a weight set. They thought there was something totally wrong with me. I hid like the Encyclopedia of Bodybuilding and other training magazines under my bed at home, and I would take them out late at night. Um, I had like a loft bed, and on this, the ladder, I would do all these exercises on the ladder, like calf raises, and I would hang from it, and I would like sneak workouts when nobody was watching. But I mean, I grew up, it was pretty conducive to that. Like, I had a high bar in my backyard. I had a balance beam in my backyard. Um, but I'd probably say I got really into physical fitness by, like, kind of like junior high school. And whenever I would look at the board, like, I would look at the wall of, like, records in high school or in junior high school or anything else, you know, I was looking at the top score, regardless of male or female. I kind of was under the impression that I wasn't let the fa going to let the fact that I was a girl stand in my way. But, I mean, it was a really, really big deal. Like, I grew up kind of being the freak all the time.